California is facing an unusual crisis. Despite being in a long-term drought, it is also experiencing heavy flooding. This situation is due to poor water management, with a significant amount of rainwater not being collected and stored. California has a history of water management problems and implemented the State Water Project SWP, in the 1950s to mitigate the effects of droughts and floods. The SWP consists of a series of dams and reservoirs that collect rainwater during heavy rainfall, which can be used during times of drought. The California Aqueduct, which is part of the SWP, carries water from the Sierra Nevada to Los Angeles, serving millions of people along the way. However, the SWP was only meant to be Stage 1. The construction of more dams and canals in the 1980s and 1990s was put on hold due to economic concerns and environmental issues. The SWP has also had negative impacts on local species, such as the collapse of salmon and steelhead trout populations, which can no longer reach their breeding sites due to the dams and pumping stations. To address the current crisis, California is building the site's reservoir, a multi-billion dollar mega dam project. The site's reservoir will capture and store excess water from the Sacramento River during periods of heavy rainfall, which can then be used during times of drought. The project is expected to provide a reliable source of water for agriculture, urban areas, and the environment, while also improving flood control and ecosystem health. The Sites Reservoir The Sites Reservoir project aims to convert a dry valley, a few kilometers north of Sacramento, into a lake. This off-river reservoir will capture excess water from major storms and save it for drier periods, providing drinking water to hundreds of thousands of Californian homes. However, the project has its critics, who worry about the environmental and economic impacts. The first step in the project is to build a number of dams, which will plug any gaps between the hills at the edge of the valley. The two main dams will be the Sites Dam and the Golden Gate Dam, both on the eastern side of the valley, while the rest will be up in the north. Together, these dams will turn the valley into a giant, waterproof tub. Unlike the Oroville Dam, which was filled by blocking the Feather River, the site's reservoir will need to be filled using a different method. About 25 kilometers to the east of the valley runs the Sacramento River, the biggest river in California. During rainy months, the state is planning to suck water from the river, pipe it through fields and hills and towns, and pour it into the site's valley. During dry seasons, the water can be let out again, providing relief to nearby areas. The construction of the project is on course to start in 2024, with completion expected by 2030 or 2031. However, the project has its critics. The cost of the project is expected to be high, which could result in an increase in water prices. Environmental groups have raised concerns about the impact on fish migration along the Sacramento River, although the reservoir will not block the river. The SWP has promised to use some of the water collected in the site's reservoir to support local species, and state-of-the-art fish screens will be installed to prevent animals from getting sucked inside. The site's reservoir will not solve California's droughts completely, but it will help. The lake could store more than two cubic kilometers of water, providing a year's supply of drinking water to hundreds of thousands of Californian homes. The project has had a change of heart since the 1950s, with the SWP now believing it is worth the cost. Whenever water is released from the reservoir, it will flow through a set of hydroelectric generators, providing approximately 80% of the power used to pump it there in the first place. The project has already missed an opportunity to collect floodwater that could have supplied more than 200,000 Californian households for the rest of the year. However, Jerry Brown, executive director of the Sites Project Authority, said, this is exactly the type of scenario that Sites is being built for, short windows of extremely high flows. Do you think it's a good addition to California? Let us know in the comments below.
If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.